All right, y'all, it's already about to sprinkle, or it's sprinkling already. It's about 7.15, and I heard that after the 505 shelter, which I just stayed at last night, um, that is when Roxylvania, hang on, this camera. Oh, much better. So that, this is when Rock Sylvania earns its name. That's what people say. The rocks are coming from here on out. But I'm pretty excited for it. I'm excited to see it. Not really excited for wet rocks because that's a little sketchy. I do pretty well on the rocks. I actually enjoy rock hopping a little bit. I got strong ankles. And uh, so yeah, here we go. I was pretty peeved last night to learn that I have walked into a brand new bubble of hikers. I thought that the bu the last bubble that I was in was probably the biggest. This one is definitely larger than the one before, so I'm kind of shocked. So better zoom out of this one as well. Here we go. And uh, it's only going to get worse from here, but I think this is going to be kind of standard trail for the next, I don't know, 100 miles. We have made it to 1,200 miles. Feels, oh my gosh, look at my hair. Uh, feels good. Um, 1100 was not too long ago. Gonna try to keep up this quick pace. <clears throat> so I was also reminded yesterday that, um, well, we just hit 1200, and we also, um, a few more miles back, just past the point where we have less than a thousand miles to go. So, the, the remainder of the hike is down to the triple digits, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to be trying to cherish every step because I know, I mean, right now it's going a lot faster. That feels good. It feels good to push myself, um, but that also means less time uh, on the trail, and we probably only have like about a month and a half or so left of hiking. Um, maybe more, probably more, about like two months. But uh, I mean, depends on how fast I go. But yeah, less than a thousand miles. That is just crazy because Maine has felt so, so far away um, the whole time. But now it really feels like we're making meaningful progress even though each day is the same. Just feels like we're a lot closer these days. That's good. Good for the, good for the uh, morale. Trail magic. Biggest trail magic I've ever seen. What? I need this coffee now. Another big boy right in the middle of the trail. I almost stepped right on him. Scared the crap out of me. Ay, ay, ay. Well, everybody, we've got uh, 2.3 miles left. Super steep ascent coming up here, but we have pretty much avoided any storms today, 
but I do hear some thunder in the distance. So hopefully it'll hold off for the next 45 minutes to an hour. So I can get down and really kind of avoid the rain altogether today. That would be pretty cool. Knock on wood. Well, I would knock on wood, but there's only rocks around here. Some people caught up to me for the final stretch. Some friends. Now, um, if one of us goes down, I can catch it on video. <laughs> Well, we didn't quite avoid the rain, but it's not pouring, and uh, this descent isn't too crazy yet. I've uh, <laughs> done a false alarm on this, this uh, descent. It really isn't bad. Pretty steep, but uh, nothing really to write home about, and that Pretty, that does it for our hike, really. Now we're done. We're in uh, Port Clinton. We just have point two into town. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Little baby deer. Wow. Oh my gosh, I almost fell looking at them. Walk into town and go get picked up for our zero day. Yes. And I'm super grateful for Bard uh, and his mom for inviting me to come visit. That's so cool. I'm excited uh, to meet his family and uh, yeah, just relax, see Philly, just enjoy my day. The sad part about Zero Days though is that I know it's gonna be over so fast, but I'm gonna enjoy it. Here we are in beautiful Port Clinton. All right guys, we are here in the beautiful city of brotherly love <laughs> with Bard's mom, her, his wonderful mother, Simcha. Hi everyone. We got Bard here. Hello mates, how do you do? <laughs> this is my family. Here we are. It's really great to see you very much, and uh, it's lovely. We just arrived from Liverpool. Wow! Uh, and uh, it's That's it's a wonderful. Long way away. It's, it's everything we thought it uh, would be. It's really really great, <laughs> right? And this see is you now, mate. My see you later. My stepson from Australia. Bye. I don't know how that happened because his mother's from Cleveland, but somehow <laughs> we're just universal in our understanding of life. There you have it, folks. Peace and love. Yes. Take a picture of the old. Someone got a hairdo update. Who is this person? I went ultra light. Ultra light on the <laughs> hair. Yes, we needed to cut those ounces. ounces. Don't be scared, Bard. Don't be afraid. Can you guys explain what we've got going on here? Uh, this here is a lovely living room in which <laughs> <laughs> we are being allowed to put our nasty hiking feet into this plastic tub that Sean made nice for us. Ooh. And Noah. <laughs> and it's hot water. <laughs> Why are you putting your feet in this plastic tub? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to explain? Well, there are Epsom salts in there. Ah, uh, yes. we're doing the Epsom salts in the feet. There's salt in um, there. I think, <laughs> I think my feet are salty enough. Come on. <laughs> There's all right. Room for more all salt. Right. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh wow, yeah, it is hot. But if you're still oh. See, be still. Uh. Good. It is another beautiful day on the Appalachian Trail. We're back. And we're going to hike 5 miles. <laughs> Maybe three. <laughs> Maybe three. It's possible that we might not have the legs to go five tonight. 
Uh oh. <laughs> Video inception. Whoa. Okay, y'all. So it's like 6 30 p.m. And we're gonna go like five miles or so. Um, and yeah, we're back on trail. We're back and we're gonna be hoofing it. We're gonna be moving. And we're welcomed back to the trail with a nice steep 1,000 foot climb over like a mile or something, mile and a half, I don't know. But yeah, I feel, I feel great right now. It's good to get through this climb with my legs well rested. I'm glad about that. Good morning, my friends. It's another beautiful day on the Appalachian Trail. Today, it's raining. There's a chance of rain all day. Pretty much the same as every other day. We're walking. Last night, we only went uh, about like four miles from Port Clinton, where we got dropped off from Philadelphia. Yeah, that zero day was just incredibly incredibly nourishing um, and we watched a movie we we got to see Philadelphia it was the perfect amount of uh, doing things and relaxing just some great genuine connection and conversation it was very special so I'm feeling completely rejuvenated and I'm ready to go make this a big week. We're gonna take it day by day, as always. Just keep moving, and uh, yeah. The amount of generosity on this trail is just overwhelming i i can't believe it like how kind people have been to me on this trail uh i just i just came across a guy uh hiking and he was coming the other direction and he stopped and said hey are you through hiking um uh, i said yeah he asked me my name I said i'm seeker uh and he's like I'm Kingfish, 2001. I hiked in 2001. It's like, no way, that's amazing. He asked where uh, I was from, where I was coming from today, uh, what day I started on. Um, and then he just gave me two five hour energies and 20 bucks just out of nowhere. And uh, that is just so kind. And I mean, like, it's overwhelming. It's overwhelming how much uh, people care and people give. And uh, I just feel like the luckiest person in the world because every day the trail uh, gives me peace and excitement and adventure and, uh, and insight into myself. And then every day people around me give me love and give me just generosity and kindness like endlessly for nothing I didn't I don't even know these people who are being so kind to me uh, and I feel like it just sets an amazing example for me like because of all this I know that I have to give it back one day and I can't wait to be kingfish uh, just stopping hikers and giving them 20 bucks or giving them to ri a ride to town or giving them food um, so kingfish if you're watching this I truly appreciate you I think we should all strive to be that way 
Here we are at the pinnacle. I decided to check out this view. I've kind of been like uh, just skipping some of the views lately because it, uh, I don't know. They all start to look the same and <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. But this one is really cool. Well worth it. You can see it's quite an overcast rainy day. I heard that uh, you got to watch out for snakes here. And yeah, you got to watch out for snakes, especially here, like in these rocks. That's where they like to hang out. There's some copperheads around, so got to watch out. <clears throat> Another trail magic. We got some PBRs in here. It's kind of a bummer since I don't drink, but had some fruit snacks. It's amazing. This whoever left this here has like pretty much the same exact taste as me because that's all I get really is fruit snacks and those sweet and salty nut granola bars. Pennsylvania, the people have been so generous. It's insane. People said in the beginning, uh, all the trail magic you're gonna get is probably mostly gonna happen down south because as you get further north on the trail, the culture becomes less uh, ingrained because probably there's a little bit less traffic. But so far, that has not been true. There's definitely been an equal amount of generosity on the entire trail. Hello, cute deer. Oh, mama and her baby. Roxylvania with a little rain. Kind of sketchy rock hopping on the wet stuff. But it's not so bad. Nice little view, but we going back to the trees. The rain is spitting on me more without the tree cover. Oh, whoa, sketchy. Well, I got poured on. And uh, my phone battery is about to die. Um, but the heavy rain only lasted for like a half an hour. So I can deal with that. As long as I got time to dry off, we're good. Got like 13 miles left on the day, I think. We've gone 17. So yeah, it's going well. The day's been pretty chill so far. Sorry about my uh, flippy hair. I swear, I'm not trying to be dramatic. It's just how it is. My flippy, drippy hair. Uh, yeah. But my phone's about to die. Hopefully, I'll get an opportunity to sit down, eat lunch, and charge it in a minute. So, yeah. We have eaten a nice late lunch here at the Allentown shelter um and now we are gonna hike on 10 more miles it's about 4 p.m and we're gonna make it to the next shelter after this one and uh then call it a night hopefully we'll beat the rain yeah it looks pretty nice now we got actually some blue sky huh. Huh. All right, folks, we have a change of plans. Um, Bard is not too far behind me, so I think there's this restaurant right off the trail. Um, so instead of uh, going the 10 miles after that last shelter that I was going to, I think I'm just gonna keep it to like five miles uh, and go get dinner at this restaurant. Have a nice night and uh, kind of like 
you know, take care of myself, make it easy getting back on the trail. We'll still have like a 25, 24 mile day. And that's pretty solid, we'll take that. I gotta, I gotta remind myself that it's a marathon, not a sprint. And uh, if I take a couple miles shorter here and there for enjoyment's purposes, then that's okay. That's okay. Hello, you two. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We've made it. We've made it to camp. We got a nice little view, too. Look at that. We made it to camp. Um, I'm working on Bard to see if uh, I can get him to do the marathon week thing. We're going to find out. I think he's interested. 